My name is Austin Marks and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm currently a respiratory therapist and I've been an RT for about two and a half, three years now. So on my YouTube channel I mainly talk about respiratory therapy. I do have a few other videos mentioning a few other things. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I am also the admin of a Facebook group called the RT Club. And on this Facebook group it's full of respiratory therapists, respiratory therapy students, and on this Facebook group, we kind of just talk about everything respiratory related. So, uh, someone has a question about school, something going on within the respiratory world, post on there. We kind of all help each other out. So, if you want to be a part of that community, make sure you head over to Facebook and join. Is the respiratory field going downhill? Will respiratory therapy even be a thing in the near future? So, the good thing is yes. Um, there's actually a 23% growth rate between 2016 and 2026. Um, there are more and more schools that are now teaching respiratory therapy. Um, so we have more therapists that are going out into the field and practicing as respiratory therapists more than ever. Um, especially with COVID ramping up, um, we have more schools that are just pushing therapists out. And then along with all of this, um, healthcare is just growing in general. So therefore, they're going to need more therapists to meet that demand. Um, because it's all about supply and demand thing. If you don't have enough workers for all the patients, what are you going to do? So therefore, we need more respiratory therapists. Um, they say by like 2030, um, they're going to need a whole lot more nurses than what they have now. Just because the population is growing, everyone's getting older. Um, at this point in 2021, everyone is getting sicker, um, just because of COVID being rampant and everything. Um, there are tons of short-staffed hospitals, and unfortunately, that is the real case, is many nurses are overworked, as well as respiratory therapists at the moment, just because we're so short-staffed and we need everybody. Um, we need more therapists, and that's why there are more schools pushing out respiratory therapists at this moment. So, I do have a few other videos on my channel talking about RT school, um, if it's easy, if it's difficult, if anybody can be an RT, um, where you should go to RT school, and if that's something that interests you, I highly suggest that you check out all those videos. So, another thing about respiratory therapy is that the pay is great. We are one of the highest paying associate degrees out there, which is fantastic, um, and that's only increasing as the demand is increasing as well because hospitals want therapists, so therefore they're willing to pay more to keep them for a little bit longer. Um, which is just fantastic for me, because that means more money. So then, like I said, there are 700 programs um, nationwide in the US. Um, the majority of them are only an associate degree, however you can get a bachelor's degree. I have a video talking about the difference and why you may want one versus the other. Um, so check that out. I'm not going to go over that in this video. The only thing that I want to talk about related to that in this video is they say that by 2030 you're going to need a bachelor's degree to go into respiratory therapy. I do not think that's the case at all because they've been saying that for nurses for the past 10 years and I know so many nurses with only an associate's degree. Probably 75% of them I know have an associate's degree and they have fantastic jobs. They get paid the same amount of money as most nurses with their BSN. So is it going to happen for respiratory? Most likely not. Um, so just go to an associate's program, pass, um, <laughs> and become an RT. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it let you know if respiratory is a dying field. Um, lets you know about the pay a little bit. And then, like I said, if you want to know a little bit more about the schooling, um, Go check out those other videos. I also have a few other videos talking about like a day in the life and kind of all that other stuff. That way you can see what I do firsthand as a respiratory therapist. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.